remember me? Hi. My name is Sachi and today I am back with one more story for you. In this story, I am dressed like one of the characters. I am dressed like the witch. The name of this story is Hansel and Gretel. Once upon a time, in a small village, in a small cottage, lived a small family. But they wouldn't live happily together because the children, that were two, brother and sister, weren't happy with their mother. She was quite mean. She was their stepmother. But their father was really nice. One day, their mother said, I'm so hungry. We can't afford to give you food anymore. Children, she said. The children looked at each other. What did their mother mean? Me and your father have decided that you have to be sent away. The birds were singing. Tweet a woo, tweet a woo. They were entertained on their way. But the children soon grew tired. They asked their mother, Mommy, can we sleep here? Their mother nodded. So the two children rested against the trunk of a tree. But their mother was very sneaky. And now that they had slept, she walked away. The children slept and slept and slept. And they woke up. They looked around and the little girl said, What? She left us like that? I don't believe it, she said. And looking up into the branches as though expecting her mother to be hiding in them. Don't be silly. I knew she would leave us. That's why I came up with a plan, said her brother. Look, I have made bread tracks all the way to her house from here. Then he looked. But the bread tracks were gone. They had been eaten by the birds. Oh no, the tracks are gone. We truly are lost, he said. It was a good idea on your part, said his sister. They walked on a little until they saw a magnificent cottage. Or at least it was magnificent for kids because it was made of candy. The door was chocolate while the roof was biscuit. How delicious! And there were windows made out of cream. There at the doorstep was a lady. The lady's hair was white and blue and her dress was dirty. It looked as if she hadn't showered for weeks and her nails were long and yellow and gross. She was living in that house of candy. She was also munching a biscuit. Upon seeing them, she called out to them. Well, my dear children, come in, come in. Oh, I must have scared you, didn't I? Oh, I know. The nails, the hair, the dress. I do look a rather like the, what do you call it? Uh, you must have read about those in your stories. Oh, yeah, right. I'm sorry you think I'm a witch, but I'm not. I'm just a lonely old lady who loves talking to children. Look at my candy house. It's so good for children to eat and play in. You will love it, my dears. She said, and she picked up a fluffy pink candy and said to the girl, Well, my dear girlie, don't you want this candy? Look at it, it is so delicious. Mm -hmm. Try it, try it, please. Oh, and yes, yes, look at this. It is a box of chocolate. Yes, my dear boy, chocolate. Have you ever tried that? Oh, it's delicious. Try it, please. It's good. And, oh, and, what about the candy apple? Who wants a candy apple? Candy apple. Oh, and you must 
and she handed over a box of candy. Take all of this full of candy. Mwah, mwah. Candy, candy. The children ate all the candy greedily. They had never seen so much candy in their entire life. Or so much food because their parents were very poor. Wow, that's delicious. Thank you, Mrs. Witch. Can I call you Mrs. Witch? You look a little like a witch. As the little girl. Ah, yes, sure, sure. Then she took the children inside and fed them more candy. Mm, mm. They both ate and ate and ate. And then they slept. And the next day again they ate and ate and ate. It went on for two whole months. Until the children grew quite fat and got quite tired of candy. Uh, I think I have eaten enough candy to last me a lifetime. Said the little boy. Nonsense! Eat the more! Eat the more! Candy is delicious! Delicious! Said the witch as she gave them more. And they ate and ate and ate. Then her smile turned into an evil grin. I don't 
stopped her and it went looking for you in the jungle every day where were you he asked them okay 